coming. Morning, Pauline. How is everyone today? Another beautiful day. <laughs> Who else is there today joining me? It's a Pilates class um, first at 11 o'clock and then um, 12 o'clock I'm doing up workout 30 minutes apps. So if you fancy a bit more on your core, stay with me. Sarah, morning Sarah, how are you? Uh, we're gonna start on our hands and knees today um, so um, as always all you will need is just your mat um, bottle of water if you need um, to top up your drink throughout um, if you've got your buns let me just show so if you've got any of these hanging around anywhere you can always use those they are brilliant um, with the pilates um, especially if you're a beginner and um, not very strong with your core just yet so that's really helpful um, maybe we see if we could um, make a class with with those bands to so just see how many people have got those to use Okay, right, so I think that's time to start. So good morning everyone once again. Uh, my name is Beata, welcome to my Pilates class today. And um, just a little reminder that the following workout is intended for health and fit participants with no pre-existing medical conditions. Um, and please do listen to your body and take extra care when taking part in those exercises, in those classes. Um, just listen to your body and if anything feels not quite right, if you feel any pain, just stop immediately, please. Um, and the participation in those exercises is at your own risk. Uh, neither the instructor or leisure, uh, sorry, Tourville's Meet um, Leisure Centre is not taking and accepting any responsibility for injuries sustained during those exercises. Okay, so let's go down on our mat and like I said, we're going to start on our hands and knees today. So just bring your knees, hips with apart and then 90 degrees in your hips here so you've got knees right underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders and first just round your back, hold your neck and then gently release and go the other way, lifting your chin up arching your lower back, inhale, exhale again, rounding your spine, holding your neck, wonderful, and again, the other way, breath in, out, And then keeping your spine neutral, stretch your right leg. Pull the leg nice and long, your foot away from your hip. And then flex your foot and point your toes. And flex and point, flex and point, flex and hold, point. 
opposite arm reach forwards find your balance engage your core strong core holding your body still arm is stretching forwards and then bend your knee bend your elbow bring it to the center arm stretch again inhale exhale flex and stretch hold and then take side and center and again side and center one last time side center and release so you've got both hands both knees on the floor and this time just try to round your lower back okay so without bringing top part up keep thinking about that lower section of your spine so start with pulling your tummy in like you wanted to bring your belly button towards your spine keep pulling pulling rounding rounding and release and then upper back arching so again without dropping here so you hold that section still it's just your upper back this time trying to arch the back inhale exhale release back to neutral and again lower back pull the tummy in hold your upper body still your upper section of your spine hold it still just your lower back keep rolling 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 round it and release and then upper again so hold that lower back still inhale exhale release wonderful and then the other leg stretch it out pull the foot away from your hip Lend in that leg and then flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. So engage your core, holding your hips level. And then one last time, flex, point, and hold it. Point, opposite arm to your leg. Reach forwards. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knee, bend your arm, and stretch again. Reach and flex and stretch and flex, stretch and hold, and then side, center, side, center, and again one last time and back down on your hands and knees relax your feet sit on your heels relax your arms stretch your arms here and then just move a little bit to the back so stretch your arms and press your palms into the floor and then lift your spine up rolling through your spine move your body forwards into half plank pull those shoulders down the length of your spine pulling through the crown of your head inhale exhale press down inhale lift just your spine up keep your hips down now exhale hips off the floor and again, that wave going through your spine, just sit on your heels. Your hands are staying in place. And again, inhale, rolling through your spine. Half plank, long spine, inhale. Exhale, press down. Inhale, spine up. Exhale, rolling your spine on your heels and again right 
in, out, breath in, out, and then come up on your hands and knees, bring your right leg forwards, and then push your hips forwards and just hold here. Keep your opposite hand to your uh, leg in front, down on the floor, and then bring the other arm up. So you rotate towards your knee, opening your chest towards your knee. Reach up, look up, take a breath in, and breathing out, bring it down. Leg behind you, knee off the floor. And stay here. And then gently rocking your body on that foot behind. Pushing your heel down towards the floor and then forwards and back and forwards. One more. Wonderful. And then bring your hands on your thighs. Upper body up. Inhale. Exhale. Return. Hands down on the floor. Knees down. And switch sides. So nice and long leg forwards, foot down, and push your hips forwards. So you in that low lunge. Let your muscles get used to that position first. And then bring your hands down just on your foot level and rotate your upper body, reaching with your arm up. Take a breath in opening your chest and breathing out return and then knee off the floor and then gently rocking forwards and back feel that movement in your ankle Couple more. One last time. Okay, and then find your balance. If you're ready, if you don't have to do that, you can stay with your hands on the floor. But if you want to challenge your muscles a little bit more, bring your hands on your thigh. And then down again. Knee down. And hands and knees, and then tuck your toes, lift your hips up, push your tailbone up to the ceiling, and then one heel at a time, push it down into the floor, and push, and push. And then try both, push it down, wonderful, and then walk your feet towards your hands, just sit down, okay, start with your feet on the floor, knees bent, bring your hands underneath your thighs, and then lift your spine up, lengthen your spine, long neck, shoulders down and relaxed. Take a breath in and breathing out, just round your back, folding your neck, separating your shoulder blades. Just feel the stretch 
the top of your spine here around your neck and then rolling your spine up restacking those vertebra and bringing your shoulder blades towards each other inhale and exhale again just round your back separate your shoulder blades bring the chin down to your chest and again rebuild your spine inhale and then open your legs bring your arms out to your sides and breathing out close your legs close your arms and then roll your spine just a little bit closer to the floor nearly your lower back is touching the floor take a breath in and breathing out start rolling up once you find your sit bones, open your legs, open your arms. You can use your arms if you like to pull the spine up, rebuild and really make sure you sit up tall, pulling through the crown of your head. Inhale, exhale again. And do it as slowly as you need. Take a breath in. Out. Inhale, exhale, close and roll slightly down, breath in, breathing out, roll up, and then close again, breathing out, roll down. A little bit lower this time just to bring your middle back onto the floor and then bring right knee up and down left knee up and down knee up and down and lift Two more each side. Strong for holding the upper back of the floor. And then bring your arms overhead. Take a breath in. Breathing out, circle those arms around. And again. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, round. Breath in, reach, exhale, circle, one last time, reach, circle round, and then head down, bring your arms down, and stretch your right leg up, and flex, and point, flex your foot, and point your toes, Flex and point. And then hold, flex. And then bring your leg side, center. So try to hold your hips still on the floor. Engage your core. Assisting with holding your legs, your the other leg and your hips still on the floor. One last time, side, center, point your toes and bring your leg down and up. Reach forwards and up. Each time lengthening your leg like you want it to go a little bit further forwards. And even further. Keep engaging your core so you're not pulling your back with you, okay? So lower back is touching the floor and then one last time reach forwards up hold 
Now we're gonna combine those two together. So you're gonna create a half a circle. You will go side down and up. Side down and up. Side forwards and up. Side forwards and up. One last time this direction. And switch. So you go forward, side, up. Forward, side, up. Okay, so again, the same rule. Strong core, holding your hips still. Last time. And bend your knee, bring your foot down and switch side. So you've got the other leg. Nice and long leg as much as you can. And then flex and point. Flex and point. And at the same time, prepare your core muscles. Gently pull your tummy in. Feel your lower back imprinting, touching the floor. Flex and hold. And then just start with side, center, side, center. Opening your hip. Keep breathing. It helps with the movement. It helps with holding the rest of your body still. One last time. And then point your toes and go forwards and up. Forwards and up. Reach forwards, lift up. Let's see if you can reach a little bit further forwards and further. Keep holding that tummy in one last time and then hold. Flex your foot and side, Ooh. forwards and up. To move a little bit and again, side, forwards and up. Side, forwards and up. One last time, this direction. And then go, reaching forwards first and then side up. Forwards, side and up. Strong core, holding your hips still. Nice one. Last time. And bend your knee, hug your both knees. And then take a breath in. Breathing out, lift your head up, shoulder blades off the floor. Stretch one leg out and switch and switch and switch and switch. Breath in and out. Breath in and out. Hold here, bring your hands at the temples and rotate and switch and switch and switch. One more each side. Beautiful, and then back to the center. One last crunch, and bring your head down, feet on the floor, and then bring your arms out to your sides, and just roll your legs and your hips to one side, head the other way. Inhale, exhale the other way. And back to the center, arms by your side, down on the mat. 
and concentrate on your hips, on your lower back here, your core, and just tilt your pelvis, rocking your pelvis up and down. Each time pulling your tummy in, arching your back slightly, and then again imprinting and arching and then and do it one last time and hold lower back imprint into the floor bend your button towards your spine hold that position keep breathing and then stay in that position. Take a breath in and breathing out, start rolling your spine up to get into shoulder bridge. Then take a breath in and breathing out, roll down. And again, breath in, breathing out, roll your spine up and then slowly one vertebra at a time roll it down hips touching the floor last and again and slowly down and then one last time roll your spine up and stay in that bridge position and lift your leg up if you can stretch your leg if not your knee bent or even just hold it there so if you can long leg and then reach forwards and up if you've got knee bent just tap your foot and your toes onto the floor and lift up again okay so hold those hips in place, don't let them drop. Keep them there. One last time. And switch leg. And again, those legs. Bring it down and hold those hips still. Reaching down and and down and up. And just one last time and then bring your foot down stay in that position bring your arms overhead take a breath in keep your arms on the floor above your head and slowly lower your spine down breathing out remember one vertebra at a time down 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 and then stretch your right leg Stretch left, take a breath in, thank you, and breathing out, move your arms, fold your neck, and then stay here. Take a breath in, and breathing out, continue rolling your spine up. Find your sit bones, and then rebuild your spine. Take a breath in. Breathing out from the top of your spine, rolling your spine, and then gently just lean forward so you've got a nice C shape in your spine. And just by pulling slightly forwards, you open it up. <coughs> Oi, that was rude. Lower your, open your um, lower back, and then reaching slightly forwards increase that stretch and then back to the center and continue rolling down going down on your back slowly one vertebra at a time shoulders head last arms overhead as soon as you bring your arms overhead engage your core keep putting tummy in so you're not lifting your lower back or your ribcage off the floor 
Inhale, exhale, arms leading the way, neck is following. Take a breath in and breathing out again. Continue. Find your sit bones, rebuild your spine. Breath in and breathing out. Roll your spine forwards. Gently rolling, reaching forwards and then flex your feet just to add that stretch at the back of your leg, at the bottom of your leg. Inhale, exhale, point your toes and roll your spine down. And do it again. Engage your core. Hold your lower back onto the floor. Breath in. Out. Arms leading the way. Neck. As you breathe out. And then take a breath in. And breathe out. Continue rolling up. And that's where the bands can come useful. If you have them around your feet, you can use to pull yourself up here. And then flex your feet. Take a breath in, breathing out, fold your neck, roll your spine forwards, gently lean forwards, and stay here. Now, from that C shape in your spine, we try to extend. So not much movement in here in your hips, it's just that curve in your spine. So you extend your back and flex and extend and flex. Extend and stay and then arms reach up reach forwards, reach up and forwards, one last time, reach up, stay, inhale, exhale, back to your C shape in your spine and then rotate to look through your arms and then back to the centre, rotate the other way, and center and again rotate and center switch and center find your sit bones bring your arms down relax your shoulders and then bend your knees bring your feet on the floor Bring your arms behind your back, behind your hips. And then lift your hips off the floor. Push them up. Open your chest. Breath in. And breathing out, lower your hips down. And again. Bring it up. And down. Inhale, lift, stay, right leg, stretch out and down, switch leg, nice and long leg, and down, hips down, wonderful, and then hug your knees, hug your shoulders, relax. And then bring your arms behind your back again, but this time gently touching, so we're not resting our body on our hands. It will be the core muscles holding the balance. So you need to go a little bit to the back, so you've got that V shape in your body. Engage your core, shoulders down, and lift one leg up. So we start with the easy option, where we go just one leg at a time. And lift, and lift. So you either continue with that or lift, 
lift, lower, lower, lift one, lift two, drop one, drop two, up, up, down, down. Now if that's enough, then continue with that. Or if you prefer, if you feel strong enough, both legs lower down, lift up, slowly down and up, breathing out, breathing in. One last time. And then open your legs, lean forward, relax. And then come back. So again, the same position. And this time, lift your legs up. Now, if you've perhaps got something to rest your legs on top, that's wonderful. Rest your legs on the sofa, on the step. And then lift your arms off the floor. Bring them forwards. Holding those legs above the floor. Take a breath in. And breathing out. Lower your spine down. Bring your lower back onto the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Pull your spine up. If holding both legs is too much, just keep one leg. Inhale, exhale. You can again use your arms here. Okay? You can switch leg. Inhale, exhale. Pulling your spine up, 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 up. Rebuild both legs down on the floor. This time you can use your arms to lift your spine up, sit up as tall as you can, right on top of your sit bones and then bring your arms out to your side and just roll your hips and your legs to one side and then switch and switch and again and one more each side. Perfect. And then just lie on your side. And first we're gonna walk your triceps and your obliques. So your top arm, bring it in front of your chest. Bottom arm, you can either use the arm, keep it down on the floor, and use both hands or bottom arm off the floor and just use the, um, your top arm, okay? Your legs, however you like, long legs, bend your knees, keep them together or slightly apart, whichever way is most comfortable for you. I find this easier um, having my legs bent, okay? So hands in front of your chest, concentrate on those muscles here and your tricep. Inhale, exhale, lift up and slowly lower down. And again, bring it up, slowly down. Breath in and push. And then one last time. And release. Then come up on your forearm here. And push your hips slightly forward and lift your hips off the floor. So you're staying on your knees and your elbow, which is in one straight line. And then top leg, stretch it out. And lift so your foot is on your hip level, top arm, hand to your temples or just by your ear. 
pointing with your elbow up to the ceiling, bring your leg forwards and back, and pull it forwards and back. to control your upper body so you're not rotating and you're not bending too much in your hips and in your waist so literally just your leg moving one last time and release and then switch side so first we're going to start with um, your triceps So your top arm in front of your chest, take a breath in and either using both arms or just a single arm and also concentrate on your core muscles here as well. In and out and again lift and then one last time bring it up and down and then down on your forearm lift your hips off the floor just pushing your hips slightly forwards and making sure you've got a straight line between your knees and your elbow and then top leg stretch it out lift slightly off the floor so your foot is in line with your hip and then pull your leg forwards and bring it back and front back Each time try to pull the leg closer one last time and release and then roll on your front and first bring your arms alongside your body Keeping your neck straight so you keep looking down on the mat. Lift your spine off the floor. Relax your legs. Try to just use your muscles of your lower back. And lower down. Bring it up. Breath in. And down. Breathing out. Inhale. Lift. And down. Inhale, lift and stay. Bring your arm forwards, back switch. And lower down. And then rest your forehead on your hands. And your legs one leg at a time, bring it up and switch and switch and keep going once right, once left. One more each side and relax. 
bring your arms by your sides and then lift your spine up try to engage your core muscles here as well so you're not resting your belly down on the floor but keep pulling the tummy in lengthening your spine pulling through the crown of your head and then bend right knee and switch and switch and switch one more each side and then both and release spine down bring your arms alongside your body again lift your spine up pulling with your hands towards your feet Pull your shoulders down away from your ears and release down. And then sit on your heels. And breath in, back onto your hands and knees round your back hold your neck and relax and then the other way so back to beginning arch on the lower back chin up breath in and out again rounding your whole spine holding your neck and release And that's it for today so thank you for joining me and if you want um, stay for up workout it will start at 12 o'clock so give yourself a 15 minute break grab a drink and I will see you later if you're not staying I will see you next week have a wonderful weekend bye